All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Alluris. It's like Reigns, but like it's a Reigns style choose your own adventure kind of game. You get an option, you choose yes or no, or left or right, or kill the thing, or talk to the thing, blah, blah, blah. And it's also one of those with, uh, it's got some RPG mechanics. So you got HP, you've got equipment, you got gold, you've got some other stuff. So that, I don't know, that. That's interesting enough. I've never actually played Rain, so I kind of wanted to just dive into it uh, and give it a go. And supposedly it's like card based, but I don't know. I guess we'll be a dude. We can be a human, a nothing, a nothing. Oh, don't lock all these things off for me immediately. Holy shit, they have a lot. Well, human farmer, because I don't think I can do biscuits else. Well, why even let me choose on my first run? I don't know. It's also still kind of loud. Holy shit, there's a lot of classes or uh, backgrounds that you can pull through. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down just a smidge more, which I'm sure I'm gonna get a comment being like, now it's too quiet, but whatever. Anyway, let's just get going. Oh, wait, I chose non-binary gender. Eh, worst things have happened. You've come of adventuring age, and your uncle offers to take you to Alluris to sell an artifact he found. Oh, oh boy. What is going on with this font here? It's like getting cropped off here. It's gonna be kind of hard to read. I almost feel like this is a mobile game or something. Ish? Wow. Yeah, a lot of this stuff doesn't match. All right, whatever, we're just gonna go with it. Uh, let's see. So you've... Come to, you've come of adventuring age, and your uncle offers to take you to Alluris to sell an artifact he found. So, all right, let's go. Strike it on my own. Sure, let's go. The two of you load up the cart and head out, taking the road to Alluris. It's gonna be really hard to read. I have not bad dyslexia, but every once in a while I run across a font that's just like, oh boy, all right. Anyway, challenge four, orc ambush. The cart is attacked by an orc. Your uncle yells for you to run. Help fight. Get to get go get help. Help fight. Your uncle takes a bad hit, but the two of you destroy the creature. Your uncle remarks that the creature must have come from the mountains. There's a rumor that Baron Dread is building an army up there. Before you stands Alluris, bring your uncle to a tavern. Leave your uncle with the guard and head out. Tavern. You drag your uncle to the tavern. He tells you that someone will need to stop Baron Dread before he marches to on Alluris. It will need to be extremely powerful though. Injured uncle. Tavern. Night's sleep can heal anything. Injured uncle, get a room with uncle, hang out in the tavern. Fix uncle. As you settle down for the evening, your uncle hands you the treasure you wanted to sell. Tells you it's for your birthday, and you should sell it here in town. Uh, town merchant, sell the loot, keep the loot. What is the loot? Keeping the loot. The merchant shrugs and reminds you that keeping it will only make you a target for bandits. You walk away. From here, you're on your own. But Baron Dread is out there, and you don't have much time. Okay, so what is my loot? I literally have no idea. Okay, Lurus Royal Gate. It appears as though there's a large party going on. Not interested in royals! Ugh. Okay, fine. Let's sell treasure. I've sold treasure. Baker perks up as you walk by. Buy bread! What a cheap yet filling delicacy. Leave town? Stay longer. Stay longer! Tavern. Get room. I can rest when I'm dead. Guard cabinet. An armored man approaches you, demanding information about the Undercity. I have no idea what that is. He straightens his jacket and apologizes, marching off to harass the next pedestrian. The fair, there's a large fair going on. Do you attend? Sure, why not? Mead stand, small mead. No thanks. Ring toss. Yes. You try and fail to score enough points. It was still fun though. Archery contest. Sure. You split your arrow on the bullseye, earning you the amazement of the other fair goers and the top prize. Fair archery champion. There's a jousting tournament about to start. Watch the tournament. Watch the tournament. You spend some time watching the tournament. It's a lot of fun. Large cannon. Volunteer to be launched out of it. That seems dangerous. Launch! You hurl through the air and land perfectly in the center of a hay bale with a bullseye in it. It hurts like hell. Head back to Alluris. Stay at the fair. Stay at the fair. Sword exhibition. A few of the more pompous attendees appear to be preparing for a swords play expedition. Or ex exhibition, not expedition. Let's play! You show off your skills with another fair goer. You take a few cuts, but remain standing victorious. Ring toss. Nope. Also nope. 
Also, buy a mug! You drink the mead. The rich flavor of honey is worth the coin. Hell yeah! Ring toss! Let's try again! Try your best and manage to pull all your- uh, put all your rings on the top scoring pull. You win a cash prize for your skill. You head back? Stay at the fair. Stay at the fair! Jousting tournament! It's fun. Play ring toss some more. No thanks on mead. Watch more! I have no idea if there's- there's a time limit here. Can I- can I just- I wonder if I can just make infinite money by just infinite ring toss. Because- oh, it's day 43. <laughs> Maybe I should leave. Okay, well, uh, I should probably leave. What do these chests do? As far as I know, nothing. Uh... This is weird. Okay, no more- no more of this. Yes. Oh, I lose money. Alright, whatever. Head back. A shady figure walks up to you and offers you whatever he has in his pocket for a prize. Or a price. Sure. You receive some dirty beans. Find your beans here? I like my beans. The fair. No, I got better things to do. Tavern. I can rest when I'm dead. Baker. No thanks. Leave town. Let's leave. Fruit cart. I will take some fruit. What happened upon a river? Go fishing. Go fishing! All you find is worthless junk. For farmers hiding on the roadside. Something looks like it spooked these folks. Follow their frantic pointing. Ore crawler. That's an unsettling creature. Fight! Ow! Well, you smash the creature. The farmers are safe from its unholy scuttling. Though they don't have any gold to pay you. Instead, you take the barrel it was wearing. Barrel! Let's see. Try to hunt for some food. After a small search, you don't find any good creatures to eat. Bradford! Enter Bradford! Uh, get a room for the night. Get a room! Tavern is where deals happen. It could pay to hang around. Hang out in the tavern! Farmer challenges, uh, charges into the tavern, screaming about a fallen star in the forest. Someone should retrieve it. Careless trader. See a distracted street merchant. You can swipe some of those rares. Draws attention to his booth. Booth. You arrive at the front of the booth and ask to inspect some of the items he has on display. After a moment, he realizes his error and thanks you. Fertile soil. Plant beans. Plant the beans. Maybe someday they'll grow up big and strong. Drinking tournament. Drank! You show up and grab a mug of the hardest stuff the tavern has. Three drinks later, you're on the ground. When you wake, some of your money's gone. Next time, you swear you'll go for a heavy dinner first. Leave town? Head out! Frozen waste. What about the fallen star? I don't know. Whatever. Enter frozen waste. Egg thief? Kill it! What about Originus? There's a path up the mountain to some sort of ancient monastery. Climb mountain. Walk away. Climb mountain! As you ascend the path, you encounter dozens of natural hazards. Extreme winds, sheer cliffs, thin ice. They batter you as you ascend. Combat trial. Wait, I'm tired. Injustice will not wait for you to be ready. One of them shouts, striking you. You're pummeled unconscious. Rest and heal. Scroll collection. One of the monks comes, asking you to fetch a few history scrolls for them. Sure. Ecstatic, he explains that Mithrandir and Hil Hiltabor all have scrolls he needs. You need to travel to each city and pick them up. Let's see. Find a room containing the leader of Ickard. He's very sick. Spend a minute with him. Spend a few minutes with unconscious the unconscious Shogun. Cool. Stay up here for a little while. Find a side room with a prisoner from Shkakzak. The Shak Whatever. Walk away. Training room. Find platforms arranged in some kind of training course. I'd like some training. You walk into a room full of swinging blades and flaming hoops. The Council of Masters sits to judge your run. Monk leaps out in front of you. Barrel him. You toss a barrel over the monk's head and kick him off the platform. The master shrug. No, my barrel's gone. Whatever. Next, uh, net climb. Climb the net. It's exhausting, but you make it to the next segment of the course. Ow. Swinging blades. Give it a go. Way too dangerous. Give it a go. I will die. You charge in, dodging and weaving about halfway. One of the blades hits you in the chest and throws you off the platform. Log swing. Grab the swing. Skip this one. Floating tiles. Get a running start. Uh, I think I die. Yep. Two steps in, one of the tiles is a little wet, and you slip off, whacking your face on it. Knocked out. You're pummeled in the training room. The world goes black. 
Ugh. Infirmary, rest and heal. Spend some time with the Shogun. Free karma, training room again. Okay, fight. I don't know what this is necessarily. And I'm dead. This is definitely worse. There are darts down here too, and it takes longer to crawl through. Knocked out. Ugh. Infirmary. Back up. Okay. Shogun. Spend time with him. Prisoner. Not interested. Trading. Hell yeah. Hello. Fight the monk. Pipe. Leap over the pipe. Net climb. Climb it. I don't climb. Swinging blades. Way too dangerous. Darts. Run. Charge through the field. You're peppered by several of them. Log swing. Grab the swing. You die. Uh, you're knocked out again. Infirmary. It's okay. I should probably leave. Spend time with the Shogun. Karma. Training room. Bye. Prisoner. Walk away. Stairs down. Leave. Ice caves. Sure, I'm full health. Frozen treasure. Hack it free. You hack and whack at the ice for an honest 40 minutes, but can't get it free. Ice lizard. Fight the lizard. Ice slug. Shit, run. Weird tribal encampment. In the distance, you see some kind of tundra commune. Enter the camp. Camp guards, a pair of robed guys stop you and hand you a potion. You'll need that, dude. Drink it. You quickly chug the potion. One of the robed figures nods. Nice, bra. As you blink a few times, you realize the camp is filled with ghosts. Just hanging out with everyone. The size. Place to rest up and heal. Rest up. Oracle Council, ask your questions. Nah, I'm good. One of our oracles has gone missing near the Ickard Monastery. I'll find him. Leave the camp. Head out. Ice Raptor, kill it. Darkened Obelisk. Interesting. Stick your finger in. Push your finger into the hole. For a moment, it gets stuck and you panic. But as the bitter cold sets in, your finger begins to shrivel and you pull it loose. Foot of Mount Originus. Again? Uh, well, I can survive the climb. I'm not sure if it's worth it. We're going up. Infirmary. Sup. Shogun. Spend time with him. Training room. Round two? Fight the guy. Net climb. Climb the net. Let's see, swinging blades, give it a go. Why do I just get hit by all of these things? I have no idea. And I'm knocked out again. This is weirdly un unfortunate. Spend time with the Shogun again. God, I've been here for a while. And we are going to probably leave because I think I'm gaining nothing from this. Icy Hut. Jerky Salesman. Uh, I don't have... Sample Variety. Ask to try each variety, letting him explain the different flavors. You nod along, but leave without buying anything. I'm a jerk. Let's walk away from the mountain, because it's kind of pointless. It's a loop. And the Skrozak commune. Hello, ice ghoul hunt. One of the older tribesmen says you should go kill some ice ghouls. Sure thing. Awesome, he says. Just remember to bring some ghoul bits back. Napsh Napshack, rest. Ask questions. Nah, I'm good. Head out into the waste. Dark and obelisk. Throw a rock at it. Rock bounces off the darkened surface to no effect. You shrug and decide it's better to move on. Yaddy ambush, shit. Ow, while well, I level up and I get some meat and fur. Raging Mammoth, try to calm it down. I am going to die. You run up, arms raised to stop it. This only panics the beast further and you get kicked as it runs away. Ickered Law Keepers, group of armored men with katanas ride by on polar bears. Whoa, they're cool. Yes, yes they are. Wild Piper. Uh, it's gonna kill the shit out of me, so I'm gonna walk the road. Good spot for some hunting. Good, I needed that. I'm very injured. Pack of rats. Kill them all. Bridge troll. He would cross must answer me these questions three. I shall answer your questions. What is your name? Tell him your name. What is your quest? To find adventure. Lame, he bellows, throwing you into the river. Bradford, I'm back. Sup? Let's get a room. I'm kind of poor. Hang out in the tavern. Sailor approaches you. He needs a guard to protect his ship from pirates out at sea. Promises to pay well t for a guard, but it might be dangerous. Let's go! He leads you to his ship. His crew loads up for an ocean voyage. An older man sprays himself down with pirate repellent. What did you just sign up for? Barred ship, human crew. Pirate attack. Fairy Cannon Champion, take a shot with cannons. With your training at the fair, cannons are yours to command. A few well-placed shots smash the pirate ship apart. They yar their last yargs and sink into the watery grave. School of Fish, cast nets. 
You deploy a net and scoop up some of the school with some quick seasoning. They make a great snack. Floating shipwreck. Board the shipwreck. Find a small chest of treasure. You bring it back to the ship. Luris. Hey, it's a Luris. Maybe it's time to head back. Uh, stay out on the ocean. S uh, see in the storm. Oh, see in storm. Storm. What? All right, whatever. In a moonless light night, the ocean kicks up a terrible gale. Sail out of the storm. You unexpectedly coax the crew to steer out of the storm. Several orders get crossed. As the sails open, the ship twists and capsizes. Capsizes. You're tossed into the waves. You hear singing. Merman rescue. Wow, that's just a bad photo bash. Holy shit, look how bad this Photoshop is. I am actually offended. Like, incredibly so. Wait, those abs are painted on. What is going on with this man? Because that's a face, but the, that and that's definitely an arm. But those nipples are wrong, and those abs are... S especially bad what the shit anyway as your waterlogged mind clears you find yourself in the arms of a merman Bleh? you suddenly realize you're breathing underwater and are comfortable in the depths i have given you a sea blessing he whispers to save you the merman seems to be taking you to a large city wow he floats you into the gates welcome he announces to atlantica sea uh shell jeweler Find a mermaid teaching a small crowd how to make shell jewelry. Sign me up! I am poor as shit. Throw a few coins in the bucket and follow along with the instructor, creating a small shell necklace that doubles as a tiny instrument. Nervous King. He mumbles something about the Kraken from his throne. What troubles you? He straightens up and explains his fears about an attack from the Kraken. Krakens. There's a particularly massive creature leading them now, he says. Something needs to be done about it. Kraken Diplomacy. Not sure what to do. Uh, Maybe I'll talk to them. He glances nervously at his advisors. If you can manage that, he says, that would be excellent. But they really are monsters, you know. Tavern. I'm too poor, I think. Get a room anyway. I Apparently it doesn't matter if I'm poor. I can still rest because who gives a shit? <laughs> oh, hey. I have no idea what this is. Or why it's here. I can poke it. But it doesn't seem to do anything. This person is living an extremely exciting and quick life. I almost want to make a game like this just because of how ridiculous this is, but just make it wilder. I think it's because you found treasure. Yeah, probably. Anyway, hang out in the tavern. Search around all day, but everyone's hesitant to give you work. Head out! Swim out into the ocean. We, we were just there! Alright, underwater treasure. Grab a treasure. Peek in one of the chests. It's full of ancient treasure. You grab one and swim along with it. Crab battle! Knife is useless against those massive claws. Oh, memes. You float by a long strand of kelp. Take it! Undersea cove. Cavern full of knickknacks. A plenty. Looting time! Some little pot and pile of strange machinery. Who knows what they're for? Head up. Back to the ship? Heck no! Stay down here! Naga! Kill it! Uns great unspeakable horror. As you float in the dark, the eye of an ancient god blinks open. It offers power. Yes! Karma is bad, but I've unlocked the wizard. He shall be my agent of change upon the world, the massive voice echoes. In a flash of dark purple, you find yourself on the seafloor, unable to explain what you saw. I have mystical powers and am corrupted. Who knew, knows what is true true depth? Check it out. You descend slowly into the trench. It gets darker and darker. Suddenly, a massive kraken appears before you. Demands to know your purpose. Merfolk diplomat, I seek peace with your kind. You explain that you were sent by the merfolk to negotiate terms of an armistice. The Kraken takes a hostile composure. You speak for the murderers of my kind. They had no idea what they were doing. They knew what they were doing when they killed Kraken for sport. They knew what they were doing when they sent their youth to train on my children. You will die now, murderer. It's preparing to strike. I didn't come here to fight. Then be gone. You ask, uh, you dare ask for peace. The Kraken grabs you and throws you back out of the trench. Just know that you are forever an enemy of the Kraken. Atlantica, head in. Suspicious mermaid. Follow her. You duck into the alleyway after her. When you catch up, you find that she's in the middle of transforming into a massive were shark. The young mermaid is transformed into a terrible were shark. Fight, guards. You run out of the alley, taking a couple of uh, taking a couple of bites, and find a patrol of guards. They quickly slay the creature. Afterwards, they chastise you for tracking down such a dangerous beast you weren't ready to face. Curious child. Ask if you can have anything from the outside world. Yeti fur, here you go. You hand him the Yeti fur. The soggy ass Yeti fur that's been in your pocket forever.
<laughs> make it so you only have five seconds to make a decision. That'd be a fun game mode. Just like, pick, quick, go. Uh, anyway, you hand him the Yeti fur you collected by the Tundra. He seems amazed by it. The Soul Blade stirs. Wait, there's a whole city down here? Yeah, it's cool. What Soul Blade? It begs the question, the sword adds. Does that mean there are no aquatic undead? We could change that, you know. What Soul Blade? I have a... What? Where'd that come from? I don't have that. Alright, Merfolk Merchant. Uh, let's see. Buy all your treasure for massive coin. Sell treasure, keep treasure. Sell treasure! So that... Okay, we lose the treasure chest. Head out? No. Keep... Here. Old merman trying to patch up a net. Let me help with that. You work with the old fisherman for a while. We're paying the net. He thanks you, carrying it off. Merfolk Tavern. Corrupted. Get a room. Question mark? Innkeeper thinks you look like trouble. You slip him some extra coin and he sneaks you into one of the worst rooms. Hang out the tavern. You're pulled aside by a well-dressed merfolk gentleman that explains that he's a collector of rare and exotic fish. I'll find fish! He smiles and explains that there are three special fish he, he wants to find. One of them is on the seafloor, another is up near the surface, and the third lives in the rivers. Curious child. I'm out of stuff. Head out. Sure. Exotic fish. Magical powers. Hold it. You reach out with magic and catch it with a whole monster. You easily recover the paralyzed creature before the spell wears off. Crab battle. Undersea cove. Looting time. Small box of treasure. Deep trench. Check it out. Okay, massive kraken again. To know, uh, wants to know your purpose. Merfolk diplomat. Okay. Speak of the murders of your kind. No idea what they were doing. Bring it on, slime ball. Kraken attack. You shall not leave here alive, adventure. Water jet. Siphons water at you very rapidly. Generate a water force field. The water bend. You water bend the siphon around yourself and it hits one of the kraken's generals. Oh no, tentacles. Tentacles attack. With incredible timing, you manage to use a butter knife to disarm one of the tentacles of the kraken. Ink cloud. Just swing wildly. Swim away. Uh, swing wildly. Flail around in the ink until it clears. The ink burns a little. Tentacles, attack! You try and take a swing with the blade, but the kraken yeets you across the room. Room? It falls up with a jetty, uh, deadly multi-arm jab. Somehow that hurts more. Kraken, tentacles, attack. Okay, we've disarmed it. Kraken general, holy shit, let's get out of here. Guys seem like more, le more than you wanted to handle right now. You swim back to the trench and into the underwater area. Treasure! Grab treasure. Peek in one of the chests. A baby kraken leaps out, slapping you as it floats away. Atlantica! Sweet! Perfect merchant. Sell treasure. Uh, it's to help the old man again. Perfect. Back to the tavern. Costs money, but that's fine. Because I rest. To hang out the tavern. Elderly merfolk lamenting the decay of their elemental crystal. A new one needs to be retrieved, or the city will need to be abandoned f soon. Holy shit, you guys suck. I'll find one for you. Maybe. Swim out. Undersea cove. Knickknacks aplenty. Soggy sack that used to hold potatoes. Crab battle. Awesome. Underwater treasure. Grab it. It's full of ancient treasure. You grab one, swim along with it. Back to Atlantica. Nope, keep swimming. Deep trench. Okay. We're going to Kraken. Okay. What do you mean murderers? Surely the merfolk told you about how they slay Krakens for pleasure. They even use Krakens as a way to train their young to kill. Will not appease friends and murderers. Bring it on, slime ball. Uh, hmm. Fight. Kraken attack. Uh, attack. Undersea vents. Attempt to get the boss stuck in the, on top of one. You attempt to lure the Kraken over one of the vents, but he's smarter than that. He throws a rock at you. Uh, let's see. Swim away. Okay. Ink is not great. Uh, let's see. Undersea vents. Let's avoid the vent. Tentacles. Brace. Slapped around a bit. Kraken general. Bail as shit. All right. Crab battle? Uh, I can probably fight one crab. Treasure. Get out of here. Oh, I'm dying. Head back to the ship? Yeah, let's go back to the ship. Floating shipwreck. Or the shipwreck. Grab supplies as you pass. Gold. Good diving spot. Uh. Dive. Deep trench. Nope. Atlantica. Sup. Curious child. Don't have shit. Get a room. Okay, I'm feeling good again. Hang out. Uh, let's see. Barkeep pulls you into a side room and explains that the tavern basement has a sea rat problem. If you could quietly handle them, he'll pay you for your discretion. Fight him! Head out. No. 
Maybe? Uh, yeah, sure. Undersea Cove, knickknacks, ominous ring, and sitting in the sand, it seems so precious, foreboding ring. Naga, fight it! I'm a terrible person, crab battle! Cool. Nope, not in the trench. Back to the ship? Heck no, back to Atlantica. Uh, help the man fix his net again. Man, he breaks that net a lot. Corrupt it, get a room. It's kind of expensive, but who gives a shit? Uh, let's see, no one has any work for you. Merchant, sell treasure. Yes, I am filthy rich. Swim out. Underwater treasure, grab more treasure. Never mind, Kraken baby. Fight a Naga. Uh, we don't need to do Atlantica yet. We don't want to head back yet. We want to fight crabs. We want to not go to the deep trench. We want to go to the Odyssey Cove. We get a fancy dining set. Fight the Naga. And go back to Atlantica for a bit. Curious child, we have nothing. Tattered net, obviously. Keep fixing it. I'm going to dig myself out of this karma hole. One old man at a time. Uh, let's see. Hey, it's a rat problem. That gets me some money. Pays for all the rooms that I'm sleeping in. And we are going to head out once again. Deep trench? No, thank you. There's nothing useful in there yet. I am kind of shitty. Looting time. I get a sturdy log. What a good piece of wood. Crab battle. Head up? Hell no. Naga battle. Sweet. Atlantica. I've taken some damage, but let's keep swimming. Nope, not going down there. More treasure? Yep. Undersea Cove, looting time. Find a small box of treasure. Head up? Nope, never mind. Uh, grab supplies as you pass. Cool. Deep, uh, diving spot. Awesome. Back in the water. Fight all of these guys again. Deep trench? Hell no. Atlantica again. Corrupted. Get a room. Boy. It's like I'm a regular or something. And let's see. He's got sea rats again. I'm gonna just keep fighting them until I get stronger. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this game. Like, it's... Have I only been playing for 26 minutes? I have, apparently. Like, the amount is <laughs> so quickly flashing through life. I mean, the thing is, a year hasn't even passed yet. Like, my character is just... <laughs> He's just doing shit. I love this. It's so dumb. Like... This game is very rough, and the lack of continuity, continuity or balance make make me kind of like, eh, on it. But at the same time, from like a conceptual level of just how this is working, I'm having a great time because of the idea of just this like, this dude with zero impulse control, greed as his only defining feature, <laughs> and his insanely dumb luck. Anyway, we're gonna kill those Nagas before we move on. So let's head out the gates, back into the ocean. More treasure, sweet. I am rich as shit, looting time. Another box of treasure, crab battle, naga fight, uh, deep trench, heck no. Head up, no thank you, back to Atlantica. Curious child, here's a log, you pull out the log, but it suddenly begins to float upward. Grab a rope, tie it around the log, hand it to the child. If only there was something that floated like that in the air, that'd be great at parties. <laughs> Tattered old net, climbing out of this karma hole one way or another. Okay, uh, let's see, so we've got that, hang out the tavern. Uh, let's see, we've got rats again. The rats are becoming slightly less dangerous under Sea Cove, looting time. I am loaded on treasure. We could try and fight the... Uh, let's see. Hang out, sell all my treasure. I'm freaking loaded. Can I not buy any equipment in here? I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, let's see. Keep swimming, tavern, get a room. Tavern, hang out, see if we can have anything. He wants me to kill those rats. I will keep killing the rats, but we also have the old fisherman that we can keep helping. Ah, uh, let's swim out. This is probably good enough. More treasure. Yup. Naga! Kill the shit out of it. Looting time. Sturdy log again. Uh, I can keep swimming for a bit. Fight a crab. Heck no. Nope. Yup. See a baby kraken. Looting time. Box of treasure. Naga! Kill the shit out of it. Head up. Oh, let's go. Uh, let's see. Leave him alone. Oh. Fish! Alright. You deploy a net and scoop up some of the school. With some quick seasoning, they make a great snack. What the fish? That's one of the guy's special fish. Cast the nets. Drew tosses the nets. After a moment, they pull the special fish up along with the net full of others. You grab the exotic fish and stuff it in your pocket. Good diving spot. All right, see you guys later. Uh, let's see, head back into town. Heck yeah. Sweet, we've climbed out of the karma hole. A curious child. Here's another log. You really think that would actually get me some, like, karma or money or something? Anyway... Anything. Uh, this guy wants me to kill rats again. You really think I'd, like, become rat-proof at this point, but I guess not. Uh, deep trench. Head in. It's the Kraken. Merfolk diplomat. No idea what they were doing. Looks like the time for diplomacy is gone, so I guess I'm just gonna keep fighting these guys. 
Okay, tentacles. I've become very, very beefy. Uh, let's see, fancy dining set. Attack? With incredible timing, you managed to use a butter knife to disarm. Okay, so I'm properly equipped this time around. Get the boss of the vent. You definitely lure the Kraken over the top of a vent right before it goes off. It blasts his first tentacle off. Keep chopping them tentacles. With incredible timing, you manage to use a butter knife to disarm him. Kraken General, kill the shit out of him. Siphons the water jet. Hell no. You water bend the siphon. Tentacle. Perfect. All right. Kraken has deployed a cloud of ink. Swim away. Oh boy. I am dying. Let's get out of here. I was kind of hoping that I'd have a little bit more oomph. I guess I got some EXP out of that, so it's not so bad. No one wants to give me work, but I can sell my treasure. Holy shit, I am loaded. Grab battle, always. Undersea treasure, yep. Naga, freaking fight it. Head back to the ship, sure. What do we got up here? School of fish, catch fish. Make a cool snack, uh, board the shipwreck. Lift some rubble revealing a baby kraken. Oh, bring it with you. Good diving spot. All right, let's get down there. Back to Atlantica. Hell no. Deep trench. Sweet. Massive Kraken. I got your baby. Let's see. No idea what they're doing. I have brought you your kin. You kidnapper. How did you come upon this young Kraken? Surely the merfolk stole it from the tide pools. Vans, where to know, uh, to know where you found this child? Up above in the wreck. Explain how you rescued him from a shipwreck up above. Kraken's otherwise sharp disposition appears to mellow so slightly. It appears slightly calmer now. Burnfolk were hardly innocent in this war. Kraken begins to nod his tentacles. But, uh, let's see. But for peace, we must forgive. The Kraken is frustrated, but it's clear that he understands your sentiment. He has accepted your offer of peace. Huzzah! Huzzah! The Kraken hands you... The Trident of the Merfolk people. Several of the Krakens look on in shock. It's clear that some of the Krakens are more skeptical of this agreement. Sweet. Crab battle. <laughs> Deep trench. Head on in. Massive Kraken before you. Diplomat? Question mark? Uh. Alright, I'm going to murder the shit out of this guy. This is confusing. Fight the tentacles. I guess I'm just going to do this because this is going to get me XP. Uh, I guess? Or I'm just gonna kill the Kraken gener General. I'm unsure. Holy shit. This is EXP turbo farming. I've popped off tentacle number two. Oh, Kraken defeated. You stand over a fairly disarmed giant squid. The remaining Kraken swim away. Huzzah, huzzah. You swim away victorious. I should tell the merfolk of this triumph. I brokered peace and then murdered the shit out of them. Undersea Cove, looting time. I get log, underwater treasure, heck yeah. Head up, uh, stay here. Atlantica, yep, I'm pretty injured. Tavern, corrupt to get a room, sweet. Uh, hang out the tavern. Uh, let's see, he wants me to deal with his rats as usual. Hey, sushi stand. Merfolk, a uh, group of merf merfolk handing out sushi, almost for free. I will take some. Head out, nope. We are just going to keep swimming because I gotta talk to the king. Also, karma hole. I've- oh, crack in peace. You return, carrying the merfolk trident. Aloft. I mean, made peace. You present the trident of the merfolk king, explaining that despite everything the merfolk have done, the krakens are willing to try peace. The king declares you as his new advisor and orders a celebration. Merfolk exalted. Sweet. Why is the inn still expensive here? I don't even know. Anyway, hang out the tavern. Hey, discretionary rat killing. Head out. I think we're done with this area, so murder the shit out of, out of uh, a naga, grab some loot, head up. Sure, we're done with this area. Cast the nets for fish. Awesome. Floating shipwreck. Board the shipwreck. Find an old diving suit in the wreck. Sounds like a free ticket to adventure. You drag it aboard and head off, but I can already swim un underwater freely, so who gives a shit? Alluris, paddle home. Paddle your way back to Alluris. Just as you arrive in the docks, your log finally breaks apart and sinks, scattering your crew. What? My log? What about my... Alright, whatever. Baker, buy bread? Buy bread. It's not like it's going to cost me any any food. I am still shifty, but you know what? Whatever. Hang out the tavern. Oh, this guy also has rats. Well, forever rats. Leave town? Sure, why not? To the river. Go fishing. Go fishing. All you find is worth a chug. Also some rats. I kill them. They kind of suck. You find a particularly aerodynamic stone. Attempt to pick it up. Find it easy to lift the boulder. It flies into the air and far out of sight. Sweet. Injured woman. Leave the old hag behind. Take her with you. Wild berries. Eat them. 
Whoops, they were poisonous. Oh well, who gives a shit? In here, drop the old hag off in town? I think we should continue traveling together. Old sailor, pay for well, uh, pay for guard might be dangerous. Sure. Okay, so we've got this going again. I'm not going diving underwater. Floating shipwreck. Board the shipwreck. Uh, metal crab. Crab battle. Doesn't matter. Alluris? Nope, we're staying on the ocean for some reason. Cast the nets. I have an old... Oh, hey, Siren Island. You hear a playful yet dangerous melody from a nearby island. Sail up to investigate. Feel like you need to see what's happening over there. As you float closer, the world fades to black and you're pulled underwater. Sometime later, you flop on the shore of an island. Marooned. You wash up on the shores of a deserted island. Well, I'm marooned. Damn. Banana bushel. They look appetizing. Yum! What an extremely satisfying snack on a day like today. Soft beach. This could be a great opportunity to scavenge. Scavenge! Dig up an old tattered map with some kind of riddle on it. Sweet. Wow, mysterious. Read the map. Looks like the map of the island with the circle over the entire western half. Clearly, this treasure was hidden from everyone, even those who buried it. You want to go western, uh, western shore? Heck yeah! You want to go to the eastern shore? Also yes! Go diving! No, there might be sharks. Large tree. Meat. Build campfire. Build a roaring fire and cook the meat you found. That's some pretty old meat. Uh, gather wood. Ow, a splinter. You spend some time gathering what you could from the ship. Just as you grab the last plank, the whole thing falls apart and floats off to sea. Banana bushel. Yup. Sure. Uh, let's see. This must go to the center of the island. Sure. The sign warned you that the most dangerous creatures were towards the center of the island. Still, you were not dissuaded. I am the most dangerous creature here. A metallic grate has some kind of padlock on it. Treasure map. Slap it with a map. You slap the grate repeatedly with a map, but it doesn't do much. It looks like the only way in is to find the code. Tropical frog. Kill the shit out of it. Path back. Heck no, we're staying here. Gold mine. Heck yeah. No cave. The cave is dry. The miners left some TNT behind. You decide to take it. You never know when something is going to need blowing up. Jungle spiders, kill the shit out of them. Metallic grate. Are you kidding? There could be a monster in there. Or slap it with a map. Nope. All right, path back to the bre beach. Hell yeah, random place, treasure chest. You open the chest and a bunch of small spiders come out. You think the treasure map would lead to treasure. How cliche, note reads at the bottom. Soft beach, relax and enjoy nature. Eastern shore, I'm fine here for the time being. Bananas, go diving? Nope, sharks. Dangerous looking path. Uh, nope. Treasure chest, sweet loot. Hey, you remember what happened last time and instead choose to flip it over this time. It reads, oh, god damn it. It's a lost reference. Pathway to the eastern shore. Sure, large tree. Build a campfire. Magical powers, pick a coconut. We get a coconut. I like coconut. Uh, western shore. I'm fine here. What else do we have? Scavenge for supplies. We get a musical instrument and a conch shell. Banana bushel. Keep just jamming bananas into my face. Go to the center of the island. Fight the jungle spiders. I'm almost level 15. Input the code. With a loud click, the gate opens. Great opens. You proceed down the ladder into a massive underground cove. Cove has ship or... Look around the rest of the cove. We get a chest. I am free. The shell chest yelps. Oh my god, it speaks. What's your name, chest? The name's Chester. I once sailed the high seas searching for adventure wherever I could find it. Now I'm stuck in this cave. I'm gonna get us out of here. How are you gonna do that? The ship won't go. The cave is blocked in and all I have are pegs. I'd hardly make a good crew. We'll work it out. Hooray! Chester takes your plan at face value and decides to join your adventure. Chester. Ladder. Head back up the grate. Nope. Stay here. What else we got? Cave outlet. Interesting. Lift them out of place. Head over to the rocks and easily throw the rocks out of the way. When the ship... Ship's ready, we'll be able to leave now. Ship's hull. Planks. Repair it. You repair the ship with your pile of planks. These sure come in handy. The mast. The sail's but a husk of what it once was. Investigate. The sail's isn't salvageable. You're going to need to weave a new one. But how? Coconut. Coconut? Make a sail. You slip when you first go to finish the sail and the loom shreds it to pieces. Looks like you're going to need more coconuts. Head back up the grate? Sure. Okay. Are you kidding? There could be a monster in there. Kill the, kill the monsters. Kill the monsters. Head back to the beach. Eat some bananas. Uh, let's see. Go diving? Nope. Soft beach. Salvage for supplies. Crab battle. Pathway around the island. Heck no, we're looking for... Oh, I might have to go to the other... Oh, that's the center of the island. Keep scavenging for supplies. We get some loot, apparently. And we're going to eastern shore. Because this has got the large trees, so we want to pick some coconuts. 
because I am a klutz and an asshole. And apparently, oh, what a nice tree. Okay, uh, let's see. I guess I'm just gonna. Well, I guess I go to the go to go to the western shore before I can. Oh, this is a process. Dangerous looking path. Okay, I got another I got another coconut. Hey, I'm level 15. I am a mighty man now for some reason. Mast, investigate. Old loom, make a sail. With extremely quick thinking, you use the loom to weave together coconut husks. It's extremely exhausting work, but in the end you have a sail fit for a ship. I'm not sure how I managed that, but damn. Anyway, sail, climb up and replace the sail. You maneuver your way to the mast and replace the sail. It looks wonderful up there. Head back up the great hell no. Let's see, this ship. It's now in perfect shape, but lacks a crew. <sighs> I can do this myself, but where will I find such a crew? Jester looks at you and shrugs. There aren't any more magical chests down here, I can tell you that much. Uh... Yeah... Sure? Okay. Back to the beach. We're going to scavenge for supplies. And we're just gonna, like, chow down on bananas for a little while. I guess let's go diving for a bit. Find a clam with a pearl larger than any you've ever seen before. Clam! Attack the clam. Clam spits it out and siphons away. It's quite fearful of your hostility. Uh, let's see. Scavenge for supplies. We get some treasure. Too bad I don't need treasure. Banana. That's what I needed. So, scav uh, supplies. We get crab. Go diving. Wait out and quickly come, upon, come upon a small school of fish. With quick thinking, you spear one and eat it. Oh, let's go... okay. You wait out, but stub your toe on part of the reef. It stings a bit, but you get over the pain quickly. You think at this point this guy would be immune to toe stubbing. Honestly. I have no idea where I'm gonna get crew. I guess... maybe I do now. Uh, let's see. Let's go diving one more time. Nope, we got nothing. Oh! The end of Alluris. You feel thousands cry out, but they are suddenly silenced. Your quest has fa failed. Alluris is over. The world has ended. But I'm okay. Oh wow, that just like closes the game? Oh no it doesn't. Okay, sure. So you apparently have 500 days to prep for Doomsday. This is news. I probably shouldn't have dicked around as much. <laughs> That's it, full stop. <laughs> so yeah, day 500 is apparently the uh, hard limit on this. And you know what? That's okay. I don't think that a asshat. Yeah, I, I was looking for crew, but I guess not. I I really liked that. It was stupid as shit. I almost want to make something like this myself, and just see like what I could come up with. Because this seems like the kind of game that I could actually make pretty easily. Question mark. Yeah, what if I continued? I'd just start over a new run. Or what if I hit continue right now? Uh, just start over. That's how old man water tells stories. Dude, you know it. Anyway, it's a neat game, I think kind of in spite of itself. It's very obvious that a number of these illustrations, like, I have no idea what is even, like, was bought from, like, a Unity asset store. Cause like, these illustrations look nice. These illustrations look very nice. But, if we look at the gallery, like... Okay. There's the card backs. And, yeah, there's Coke Widowcast. Who died on the beach. Well, he didn't even die, he was just there. Um... But, like, these candles, for example... I don't think they were made custom for this game. Like, a lot of this stuff is actually kind of amateurish, which is a bit of a shame. Because I would have been super down for the whole game being illustrated like this. Like, how rad would that be? I don't know. I think it would have been cool. Uh, let's see. It is a bit of a shame to, like, effectively lose a day 500, because now I'm just kind of... Like, I'll have to start over if I want to do another run of that. And maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh... At least I can start as a wizard. Knows magic, well-read, kinda nerdy. So, I could be a male human wizard instead. But I do really like the idea of this, as kind of this wild choose-your-own-adventure thing. It'd be hard for me to take seriously, which I think is a bit of a problem, because I just... 
it was really fun just being an absolute wild murder hobo kind of guy. Like, I, it, it just was kind of a blast to just be like, what? What can I do to abuse this situation? And the answer is everything. It was fun. Anyway. Uh, so, I guess this game will be out on October 11th, which I guess will just be the day that this video goes out. So, the game, the game is out now, and it's pretty fun. It can start up anytime and do a blind run. Like, there are some neat perks here, and considering that only took me, what, 40 minutes? Like, that's not bad for a playthrough. If you go quick and you know what you're doing, you could you could absolutely see the ending pretty fast, I assume. Um, because I just I don't know. That was fun. Add to the roguelike roulette. Maybe I, my problem again is like playing this makes me want to just make my own version, and I probably could. Because I really like choose your own adventure stories, but there aren't that many of them. And the idea of kind of writing something to this extent would be fascinating. I don't know. Like, I I could do another run, maybe. But, like, it, it is going to bug me because I'm going to be like, Oh, but I want to work on my own version of this that gets more ridiculous. I mean, this got pretty wild. Though, honestly, like, the game itself was pretty tame there was some goofy stuff that happened but it, it was definitely one of those where like as you went forward uh well at, like as you go along you realize that this is just some farm boy that just like sailed off into the ocean and just didn't give a shit yeah, it could use more different scenarios so a lot of the same cards for multiple things yeah there was kind of a weird lack of permanence that, like, I could just repeatedly chuck myself at the crack in general until I won. And I realized that, yeah, that was not good time management, but it was kind of baffling that I could just do that. Um, and I was kind of hoping some, uh, some of the perks would have, like, more of an effect along the way. Because there was definitely, like, I absolutely should have been able to just, like, wizard powers the boat around. Or something insane instead of having to worry about the crew. But that's, like, niggling details. This was really fun. And, yeah, it is tempting to do another run of this. Unfortunately, I can't tonight, because reading stuff out loud is harder on me. Like, just regular talking feels normal, if that makes sense. Laughed that whole 40 minutes, yeah. It, that's why it's so tempting for me to do another run, because I kind of want to just do that again a couple more times and just go from there. But the problem is, uh, like... It, it's just going to give me a sore throat if I do it too much. So I think we might just do another run on Friday or something. Because, uh, yeah, reading out loud for an extended period of time hurts my throat. Which is weird, because, like, you don't think it would be any different. But it absolutely is. Maybe it's just, like, the tempo is different or something. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure people that, like, read out loud to their kids probably have this experience. Because, yeah, it's just harder for me. I don't know. Anyway, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> really did. But I, I might sit down and actually uh, attempt this at some point, because I think it would be a lot of fun. I want to keep in mind that Wanda did a full playthrough in 40 minutes. Shell would probably take four hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she would probably have taken twice as long, but she would have won. I died on a deserted island just stuffing my face with bananas. <laughs> anyway. Thank you all for watching, and yeah, we'll definitely do another run of this once my voice is feeling a bit better.